Hello, welcome to today's class. My name is Plumino Morin, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to buy Harmony One on Binance. If today is your first time of visiting my channel or watching my video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any vital information on crypto investing. So let's get started. What is Harmony One? Harmony is a blockchain platform that is designed to facilitate the creation and use of dApps, that's decentralized application. It is a fast and secure platform for dApps and currently can process up to 2000 transactions per second, which is very comparable to the likes of Visa, the largest payment giant. Harmony allows data to easily move across separate blockchains, including Ethereum, Binance, and several other chains without sacrificing security and decentralization. And interestingly, given the low gas fees and the cross-chain features, Harmony could become a great tool for NFT creators. So let's get started. How to buy Harmony One. Step one, choose a local crypto exchange. So the goal here is to buy USDT or BTC and trade that for Harmony One on Binance. If you log into Binance, you're going to see that you can buy Harmony One with BUSD, USDT, BNB, BTC and ETH. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use USDT to buy Harmony One on Binance. Okay. So if you are in Canada, one of the best platforms for crypto trading is Index. Index ranks as one of the top crypto exchanges in Canada. If you would like to open an account, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I also did a video on how to create an index account, how to fund your account. So I'm going to leave a link to that up here. Okay. I'm going to leave a link to the video up here. Step two, you're going to transfer funds into your index account. So I'm going to log into my index account now. So once you're logged into index, this is how your dashboard is going to look on your desktop. Okay. On your laptop. So currently you can see that I have a portfolio value of just about $108 Canadian. Um, I have Canadian dollars of about $65. Okay. So obviously if you just open an account, your balance is going to be zero until you transfer funds into your account. If you don't know how to fund your index wallet, I did a video on how to fund your account. I'm going to link it up here. I'm also going to leave it in the description below. Step three, we're going to buy USDT. Okay. So you're going to come here. Here we have USDT against Canadian dollar. So I'm going to use all the Canadian dollar in my index account to buy USDT. So I can just click on max. So it's going to show me the equivalent USDT. So I'm just going to say buy. And it's going to say it's going to bring out this confirmation page. I'm buying this quantity of USDT. This is the price. This is the fee. And this is what I'm going to re uh, this is what I'm going to receive. I'm just going to click confirm buying. And voila, like um, I have this amount of USDT. Okay, so step four, we're going to transfer USDT to Binance to log into Binance. Binance is one of the largest crypto exchanges worldwide with over 700 coins. And if you don't have a Binance account, again, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I also going to leave a link up here. I did a tutorial on how to open a Binance account. Okay. So next you're going to go on the wallet, click on Fiat and spot that is deposit and withdraw. Since we're going to be depositing USDT from index to Binance, you're going to click on deposit. 
we want to deposit USDT so you type it in you're gonna select the network I usually like going with the Binance Smart Chain is usually cheaper so I'm gonna click on this then it's gonna give you the address okay so just copy this then I'm going to go back to my index account I'm going to say withdraw I'm withdrawing USDT and that's theater I'm going to click on send again this you can send it with Ethereum but it's usually more expensive but again I'm going to use Binance Smart Chain that's BEP20 the same thing on your Binance wallet you can see BEP20 that's Binance Smart Chain 20 so that's what we're going to be using i've already copied this address i come to my index wallet i select this then i'm going to paste my address there i'm going to select maximum because i want to send all of the usdt in my account you can see that it's telling me that the maximum i can send is 48 dot zero one because there's a transaction fee of three usdt i'm gonna click on i hereby confirm that information is you know those lingos and i'm just gonna say send usdt okay just say okay proceed then i'm going to enter that the google authenticator so i'm And now it's telling me to check my email to confirm the withdrawals I just received an email it says confirm your withdrawal and I'm gonna confirm withdraw confirm success this is the balance that I used to have so and we sent about 48 um, USDT so I'm gonna wait for that to come in I'm gonna go back into my Binance wallet you see even before doing anything I can see this notification deposit successful you have deposited 48.09 USDT which is awesome so now I'm going to go into my wallet again you can see now I have about 67 USDT step 5 we're gonna buy harmony one that is we're gonna use USDT to buy harmony one so next thing you're gonna go to markets go on the spot market gonna click here and put in o n e you can see um it's bringing out different pairs you can buy with you um, busd usdt um bnb btc and other altcoin but for the purpose of this tutorial again we're going to be using usdt so click on trade So I'm going to click on market because I just want to buy this immediately. I'm going to use all the USDT in my account to buy and I just say buy. So click on maximum, put it, if you just want to use maybe 25% or your USDT, you enter it here, I'm going to use 50%. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using 100% meaning I'm going to use all the balance of my usdt and i just say buy and you can see it's been fulfilled so if i go back under my wallet fiat and deposit you can see now i have 348 harmony one coin you can see that so it's very very easy this is just a simple way for you to buy harmony one using usdt on binance okay. so we've come to the end of today's class in our next class i'm going to show you how to transfer harmony one from binance to your ledger nano s as i often say it's important for you to protect and store your crypto on an external wallet and the best one out there is the ledger nano x I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you to access the correct website to get your crypto wallet so if you found any value whatsoever in today's class 
make sure you give this video a thumbs up give it a like and until then i'm blooming the morning and i'll see you in the next class bye bye